Okay, so it's Fish from Ectoran for Zero here once again. This time with another ranking video. Some suggestions by YouTuber and creator of the Linksy series, Lucas Green. So I decided to do some rankings of some franchises for Halloween this month. I was supposed to do this la one last month after I saw the nun, but I forgot and stuff got in the way. So, we're going to rank the five Conjuring movies from my least favorite all the way up to my favorite. Let's please be assured this is my opinion, so you can share your rankings down below. Which one is your favorite? Which one is your least favorite? which one are you somewhere in the middle on and as always be positive and we won't have any problems so without further ado we can get started in the fifth place of this ranking is everyone's least favorite and that is Annabelle now I'm not like everyone else where they just flat out hate this movie I'm just in the middle with this film I don't hate it, I don't love it, I just think it's meh. But there are problems with this film. It doesn't have, the story isn't as interesting as the first Conjuring or even the second film. Or also, I feel like the, the characters are not the best developed. They, the actors are good in, it, in here. But the film does have an over reliance on jump scares, and you don't really need that for a film in the Conjuring universe. And the doll is still creepy, and you do have s some decent kills, but other than that, I think Annabelle is just the weakest in the entire Conjuring franchise. It's not the, it's not horrible. It's not awful, but it could have been so much better. In the fourth place is the original Conjuring. Now it just may surprise some people that this isn't number one or higher, but it's a great start to the Conjuring movies and this whole Conjuring universe. Some get a lot of creepy atmosphere in it. James Wan directs this movie very well. I think this film is very well acted from everyone, Vera Farmiga, Patrick Wilson, Lily Taylor, the two little girls, one of them being Mackenzie Foy, I think. Yeah, I think. It's a lot of creamy atmosphere and direction, great writing here, love the story, I love the premise. I like the color palettes and the, the choice of the scary, creepy, atmospheric score. There's a lot of atmosphere in this movie and it does show. And without doubt, the first Conjuring. Really great start. I guess the only thing that keeps this movie from being number one is that the film takes oh, a little while to get going. But once it gets going, the film just doesn't Coming stop. Number three is The Nun. Now, I have reviewed this on my channel. And like I said, I do enjoy this movie. I do still like the movie. I will put this on one of my end of the year lists. I'm not sure if it's going to be on the best, but I do enjoy this. Now, the movie, this movie is not as bad as critics and some fans are saying it is, but it does have a weak narrative, and I feel like the script could have used at least one more rewrite, and I feel like some of the jump scares, while some of them are effective, most of them are just out of place and not really needed, and there could have been more character development for our characters. But there are some creepy moments in here. You got some atmospheric cinematography. You have an entertaining atmospheric horror score. And some good performances from the cast, including Taiza Farmiga, Damian Bashir, the rest of the cast. The makeup of the nun looks really good. And it does have some things 
to for this movie to fall back on. So the nun is not really that bad of a movie. I just don't really see what critics are saying about it. Coming in second place is Annabelle Creation. This is an improvement over the first Annabelle. It's more scarier. It's more atmospheric. It has it has a much more interesting story. And I like the story in this movie. I like what they were going for here. I thought they tried to fix the problems that was wrong with the first Annabelle. You still have the creepy moments. You still have good atmospheric score. You have some great performances from Anthony LaPaglia and Miranda Otto and the two little girls. I do like the direction here. I do like what they're how it ties into the Conjuring universe and this if this was the first movie the first Annabelle movie in the solo Annabelle movie I think this would I think it this would have been please been satisfied with a lot of people now it's just, it does have its flaws but I did a whole review of all five of these movies separately in 2016 and 2017 respectively 2016 with the first two Conjuring movies and Annabelle and 2017 with Annabelle Creation and this year I reviewed The Noise so I will put card things down below as well as each review in the description box down below but Annabelle Creation is a, is a f entertaining improvement over the first number Annabelle. one for the best Conjuring Universe movie to me is The Conjuring 2. It's my favorite of the two Conjuring movies and it's my favorite of the Conjuring Universe. It takes everything from the first one and brings it up a notch. It brings it up to 100% effortness. It doesn't. It doesn't fall back. It doesn't take a wrong direction. It doesn't take a wrong turn. You still have the great acting, and you have some newcomers here. Still great direction here. I do like the setup for the nine and the crooked man. Which I'm hoping the Conjuring Universe does a lot better than the freaking direct to TV freaking movie with Michael J. White, which I reviewed back last month, starting off in my horror 2018 reviews. And this is this film just it just I don't really see the whole clear hatred comes from but I don't mind the atmosphere I don't mind The Conjuring 2 I think it's a great sequel and I think it's one of the best horror sequels out there and in fact it's one of the probably one of the best horror films out there of the 2010s so far so The Conjuring 2 Number so one. that was my ranking of all five Conjuring Universe movies from my least favorite to my favorite. Let me know what you guys think of this video down below. Tell me your ranking. Which one is your favorite? Which one is your least favorite? Which one you think is underrated? Which one you think is overrated? Which one surprised you? Which one disappointed you? Do you like my ranking? Do you not? And I'll see you guys in the next ranking. This is Future Film Maker Drive for Reserve. And you guys keep it cool as always. Thank you.